So there's a question it seems many of us have, and that is, what happens to all our terror weapons, shields, grenades and so forth when this spooky harvest event ends? Well today guys, I bring you the answer. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like seriously helps me out, and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. So the Bloody Harvest event consists of us obtaining new variants of items for the most part, besides 4 exclusive legendaries to this event, but new variants of said items with an additional effect known as terror which can come and affect said weapons via being anointed. And these can affect our builds in many different ways. In fact certain builds can literally be built with terror in mind. Now I was kind of reluctant to actually farm for everything in terror, let's say needed for something good due to the fact we didn't actually know what happens to terror anointed gear once this event ends. Well guys, we now do. Straight from the horse's mouth, Gearbox on Twitter replied to this very question and basically said that we will keep what we have and these anointed pieces and their effects will not go away. The ghosts though and the means of us getting terror via ghosts flying straight at us, these are going. So if I were you, I'd be on the lookout for various different items which reward terror. For instance, there are certain anointed items which reward terror upon action skill end. Melee attacks apply terror to yourself and so forth. Anointed items which do this will be super important for any terror build post Bloody Harvest. And not even just a terror build if you have a certain weapon with a terror anointed stat on it. To activate that stat you will need to have a terror effect and these items are musts for that. Terror stacks up to 3 by the way which is important to know. Now the items which do apply terror to yourself as far as I know apply 3 stacks. You can normally tell by the amount of screen effect the green glow has. Now upon action skill end after a few seconds it seems as though maximum terror effect is affecting you. But because there's no actual indicator besides the way your screen glows it's hard to actually tell. Now the reason I suggest for you getting said items which do apply to it to yourself mainly grenades and shields is because with these you don't actually have to have them equipped for the terror to take effect like a weapon because in reality they are always equipped. With a weapon with this benefit of apply terror to yourself and action skill end, if you don't have the weapon equipped you won't get the terror effect upon your action skill ending. Grenades and shields you will get this effect instantly. This of course allows you to make the most of certain anointed variants of weapons and they do come in abundance people. Things like while terrified remember this can last up to 18 seconds as well, deal 50% bonus cryo damage. While terrified, you have a chance to fire an extra projectile. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. While terrified, bullets have a chance to reflect off you. While terrified, regen ammo, increase damage and fire rate. And I mean these anointed variants go on and on. So yeah guys, terror is staying, that's 100% factual, but you will only be able to apply it to yourself it seems. Now another question I have, Will terror anointed gear expire when this event ends? Well guys when I find this out I will update the top of that video description so keep your eye out for this information right there. So yeah people if they are going to be something that does stick around which they are I highly suggest you getting out there farming your favourite shields and even grenades and looking for various ways that these can apply terror to yourself. For me, I think the action skill end terror apply works best. But it's all up to you guys and the way you want to work your build. So terror is staying, the ghosts are going, the only possible way for you to apply terror to yourself, to activate certain perks and weapons and so forth, is to have other anointed terror items which allow you to do this. So get out there people and get these. On that note we have come to the end of the video, I just thought I'd upload this as a little bit of useful information as I know not many people are aware of this at the minute, but the more it gets out there the more this word spreads the better. So yeah get out there, farm what you need and I wish you good luck. But on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you do enjoy the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.